98.7, in association with the West Valley Police Department and the Family Support Center, present the Be Safe Program. My name is Buzz, and I'm here to teach you now how to keep yourself safe as only you know how. Check it out. Raise your hand if you think you know the answer to this question. Who is the one person who keeps you safe? Back there. My mom? Nope. The girl with the red hair. My dad? No. Your parents do a lot to help. Are your parents with you all the time? No. Nope. It must be someone else. Our teacher? Are teachers with their students all the time? No. I don't think so. It must be someone else. Who is it? Right back there. Me? That's right. It's you. It's up to you to protect yourselves. And there are all sorts of things that you need to remember that can help. Being safe means you're not being hurt by anything or anyone. You're not afraid and you're not in danger. To keep yourself safe, you need to think and make good choices. Let's look at a few examples. Thank goodness I found you. Your mom's been in an accident and your dad told me to pick you up. I need to take you to the hospital to see her. We need to hurry. Come on, get in. What would you do if you were in this situation? Should you get into this person's car? No. Never get into a car with someone you don't know unless they know the code word that you and your parents have worked out. Did my dad tell you the code word? It's, it's cat. That's not it. That's not the code. Okay, so the code word is creepy critters. Remember, if someone says that they've been sent by your mother or me, you must always ask them if they know what the code is. So, what's the code word? Creepy critters. Remember, know your own special code word. This next situation is kind of tricky, so watch very closely. Excuse me, young man. Do you like pizza? Yeah. Well, I'm making a pizza commercial. You'd be great in it. Here's my business card. It'd be really fun, and you can make a lot of money. How about if I take you over here and just take a few pictures of you? It'll only take a few minutes. I'll give you a free CD for your trouble. Your folks would be so proud of you when they see you on television. Does going with this person seem like a good idea? No way. If someone offers you presents, don't take them. Get away and find help. No thanks. I need to let my parents know what I'm doing. Remember, never accept anything from a person that you don't know. Not rides, not gifts, nothing. And Always talk things over with your parents. Don't take anything from someone you don't know. Get away fast, like really fast. Yell and tell. Remember, help yourself. Be safe. Are you ready for another one? Yes. What would you do if this happened to you? Excuse me, I'm lost. Could you help me? I don't know. I'm trying to find a street nearby to pick up my little girl. Could you help me? What street is it? It's right here on this paper, but I can't read it very well. You look like a smart girl. Maybe you could get into my car and show me how to get there. I really appreciate it. Would you get into a car to help a grown-up you don't know? What if she said she was looking for a lost puppy? Maybe she would try to reward you with money or a gift. To help yourself be safe, 
Never approach or get into the car of someone you don't know. Here's a good way to be safe. If you need help, you should ask a grown-up to help you. Remember, if a grown-up needs help, they should ask another grown-up for help, not a kid. Tell that person you can't help them and run away. And remember, it's okay to yell and attract attention if you don't feel safe. It's always a good idea to avoid trouble by staying with a friend or maybe a group and avoiding shortcuts through deserted areas. Be sure to tell your parents or a trusted adult, maybe a teacher, about anyone who makes you feel unsafe. Grown-ups should help grown-ups. And don't be afraid to yell to attract attention. Make sure to stay with your buddies. And remember, kids, always avoid shortcuts. There are other times when you might not feel safe. Have you ever been told that your body belongs to you? It does. You are in charge of your body. No one has the right to hurt you or touch you in a secret way. Sometimes it's hard to know what to do if this were to happen to you. Let's see how these kids help themselves be safe. Lisa, you've been awfully quiet lately. What's the matter? Nothing. How come you won't tell us, Lisa? We're your friends. We can help. No, you can't. It's a secret. Please, Lisa, you can tell us. It's my uncle. We do secret things. What do you mean? I was his favorite, and he would take me places, and he would hug me. Then what? He says, I mustn't tell. Tell what? What are you doing? He touches me in special ways. Lisa, come here. Who's my favorite girl? It's me, right? That's right. Are we going to play our special game tonight? Mom says... You mustn't tell anyone our secret. You could cause a lot of problems. It's our secret. It's our secret. Lisa, my mom says that secret touching isn't okay for kids. Your parents love you. You just need to tell them what happened. They'll be angry. My uncle said so. He said it's my fault. No, it's not. He's bigger than you. He shouldn't be doing that. No one should ever touch you in a secret way. He's trying to scare you. Don't let him. You mean I should talk to him? The way you talked to that kid the other day? The one who was bothering us? I'm going to play this frisbee now, so why don't you... Kitties, find something else to do. No, we're not done playing yet. I think you're done. I'm taking it. He said no. So beat it. Fine. Fine. Lighten up. Remember, Lisa, tell him to stop and tell your mom and dad. They need to know so they can help you. I don't know. He's family. It doesn't matter who it is, Lisa. It's wrong. You know, you guys are right. Lisa, need help with your homework? No, I don't. Come on, I'll help you and then we'll go get some ice cream. No, I don't want your help. Lisa, don't cause problems. No, I don't want your help. I don't want you near me. No more secrets. What's the matter, Lisa? What happened? No one should ever touch you in a secret way. No one. People who do these things may tell you that they will hurt you or people you love if you tell on them. Don't believe them. Tell your mom, dad, or trusted adult, and if the first person you tell doesn't believe you, tell someone else. Remember, keep telling until someone helps you. How are you going to help yourselves? Don't go places alone. Always have a partner. Know what to do in an emergency. Tell your parents or someone you trust about anyone who tries to come after you or touch you in a secret way. It's a lot to remember, but I know you can do it. Now, tell me loud and all together, who can keep you safe? I can!
He sure learned a lot today, guys. And I know you can remember these ways to help yourself be safe. Later.